Chapter 3, Learning Objective 4, Use and Adjust the Trial Balance to Prepare the Financial Statements. In Learning Objective 3, we saw that the adjusted trial balance is prepared after journalizing and posting all of the adjusting entries. Now we'll show how the financial statements are prepared using the adjusted trial balance. Now remember that based on account numbering, our trial balance is ordered from asset accounts to liability accounts to equity accounts, and then revenues and expenses, which will appear on the income statement. Asset accounts and liability accounts from the trial balance and the equity accounts from the statement of changes in equity are used to prepare the balance sheet. Share capital, dividends, and the net income loss from the income statement are used to prepare the statement of changes in equity, and revenue and expense accounts are used to prepare the income statement. We always start with the income statement first. So here on the left, we have our entire adjusted trial balance, and we construct our income statement by transferring the $10,700 in revenue and all of our individual expenses, which add up to $8,643, resulting in income of $2,057. Then we prepare a statement of changes in equity with opening balances for share capital and retained earnings of zero. There were $10,000 worth of shares issued, so we include that in the share capital column and end up with a final balance of $10,000. For retained earnings, the beginning balance is zero. We add the $2,057 in net income from the income statement and deduct $200 in dividends from the trial balance, resulting in an ending balance of $1,857. The last column is simply total. The ending balances for share capital and retained earnings will be transferred to the balance sheet. Here's our balance sheet on the right now showing all of the asset and liability accounts transferred from the adjusted trial balance, but the equity accounts are transferred over from the statement of changes in equity. Total assets are $19,175, total liabilities are $7,318, and total equity is $11,857. The total liabilities and equity add up to $19,175, which equals our total assets.